Hey guys, so today marks exactly two weeks since Apple released iOS 17 Developer Beta 1. So in this video, I want to talk about a few things. When to expect Apple to release iOS 17 Developer Beta 2. I also want to talk about some of the bug fixes and changes we could see within the next beta for iOS 17. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, before we talk about expected release date for iOS 17 Developer Beta 2 and some of the features and changes I'm hoping to see within the next beta, I want to talk about some of the bugs because there's quite a bit here and I want to start off with the settings application and some of the crashes. Now I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. Is your iPhone crashing? Is there any app that's crashing? Because for me if I go into settings here and I click into the music extension it makes my iPhone crash every time. As you can see right there I can click into the music here try to and it crashes my settings application and I can't really adjust my music settings. It's kind of annoying but yes yeah, something to be expected with beta software. Things can happen like this and yeah, I can't adjust my music settings at all. So hopefully we'll see this being addressed with the next beta. Now, I also have issues with AirDrop. So I can send files, right? So I can send pictures, videos, anything to anyone, but no one can actually send anything to me. So if I go to AirDrop, everyone is available here. If the AirDrop, anyone around me will be available for me to AirDrop to. I can go ahead and AirDrop files, pictures, videos, etc. but no one can send to me and they have to send it via email, which is quite annoying. So hopefully we'll see airdrop improvements and stability within the next beta as well. And for SMS, those of you who are having issues sending messages to everyone that does not have an iPhone, so Android users for the most part, and you see this green bubble and then it says not delivered at the bottom, you're not alone. There's a known issue and bug within iOS 17 developer beta one, which is I find interesting that you can't send messages to an Android user on an iPhone, right? Right? But yeah, this is a known issue within the first beta and yeah, hopefully we'll see this fixed sooner rather than later. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking about the keyboard issue. I haven't had any keyboard issues, but a lot of you guys are saying that your keyboard will disappear if you're sending text messages, if you're emailing. And I only had one issue where the keyboard in Safari actually popped up the number pad instead of the keyboard to type. But that was it. A lot of you guys are reporting that your keyboard does not pop up or populate on your device when trying to type or send an email or whatever it is and yeah this is an issue that's widespread apparently for a lot of you guys so yeah this will hopefully be addressed with iOS 17 developer beta 2 and last but not least of course we would love to see Apple address the battery life so battery life in beta 1 is horrible I would like to say horrible on iOS 17 developer beta 1 now I'm not complaining of course this is beta software it is not intended to be running on every single device or personal device but I don't get through my entire day I have to actually carry a battery pack with me in order to get through my entire day with iOS 17 developer beta 1 so hopefully we'll see Apple address this within the next beta now I want to talk about side loading because a lot of you guys continue to ask what's happening with side loading Apple made a no mention of this Apple has technically till 2024 to integrate side loading onto the iPhone for those of you that don't know side loading the ability to install apps on your iPhone from the internet right you don't have to go directly through the app store so you can choose any third-party app store in order to install apps on your iPhone this is something that Apple hopefully will add to the iPhone before 2024 or they'll find a way around it in order to comply now Apple hasn't specifically mentioned anything but they did talk about this on a recent interview and this is what they said big story last year going through this year heading into next year is our regulations in the european union one of them so well, Rockwell now, definitely didn't get european competition regulation <laughs> but one of them is at least as i understand it right now that at some point next year side loading is going to be mandated on mobile platforms that are defined by a definition that applies to iOS and Android. I mean, for lack of a better definition. Android. Um, but there was, a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hats off to you. But uh, a lot of people were anticipating in Monday. Wrong room. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things people were anticipating Monday was, is this going to come up? And it, as far as I can tell, it certainly didn't come up in the keynote, but as far as I can tell in everything else released about iOS 17, there's no word about it. 
uh, and I'm curious if, if there is something there that I missed or it, it's still not set in stone? Where, where does this stand? Well, I, I guess I'd, I'd return to uh, my, my previous comment, which is uh, we want to make sure that whatever we do is the right thing for our, our customers uh, uh, and the, the safety of our customers. We are um, working with the EU on uh, what safe compliance could look like, and don't have anything more to talk about today. I don't know if that was a blitz answer, but no. <laughs> So yeah, this is a typical Apple answer. No straightforward answer here on this one. Of course, Apple will have to comply with EU regulations before the year 2024. So iOS 17.2, maybe in the future, will add side loading to the iPhone or Apple will just find a way around and actually comply, number one. And number two, they'll most likely only comply within the region that this will be required. So not everyone around the world will most likely have side loading if they have to implement it into the iPhone. As Apple mentions, they want to protect their users and they want to protect the user's privacy and I agree to a certain extent I have a 50-50 opinion on this one because it is great to have freedom to install software from anywhere you want on your device but at the same time if you don't have safeguards a lot of issues can happen like bugs of course we have spyware malware viruses and all these other things that could happen if there's no safeguards put in between but yeah side loading those are the things that we know so far maybe 2024 early 2024 with iOS 17 point two or point three whatever apple decides to do in the future but that's everything we have so far in regards to side loading now before we continue i wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors k school now i've been using the k school magic stand case for a couple of months and i suggest you do as well because the magic stand the highlighted feature it is magnetic so it allows you to use magsafe it actually enhances the magsafe experience because it adds to the magnet i use the magic stand to take pictures hold my phone just like so as you can see right here i also use the magic stand of course to prop my iphone up to watch movies and tv shows of course also facetime i use it for facetime as well and i love this case because it comes in various colors the magsafe experience is not interrupted the magic stand is solid it's not going to break easy it's a will build case here and it protects your camera of course it protects the screen of your iphone so make sure you check out case school and their magic stand case all the links will be in the description down below with any special deal so go ahead and check them out so let's go ahead and talk about some of the changes and features that I'm hoping to see Apple add to iOS 17 and developer beta 2 and then we'll talk about the release date. So the first thing is it's kind of crazy that Apple never mentioned a dynamic island within iOS 17. I was sort of surprised they made no mention of it within the keynote. Of course this is a great feature built into the iPhone. I think Apple could build so much around dynamic island starting with Siri instead of having Siri pop up from the bottom of the screen. It will be great to have Siri be dynamically integrated into dynamic island on pro iPhones. Now also auto replies or quick replies for messages. So if you get an incoming message, you can long press and have an auto reply or a quick reply option within a dynamic island for incoming text messages. I think that's also a great idea. Let me know what you think, but Apple made no mention of dynamic island and I was sort of surprised that nothing changed within Dynamic Island within iOS 17. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. Now I also wanna talk about, of course, a new feature that Apple has added to the lock screen and that is the ability to customize it, right? Ever since Apple released iOS 16 last year and now with iOS 17, Apple continues to customize the lock screen experience. This time we can actually change the width of the clock as you can see right there, but I would love to see more of this happening to the lock screen in iOS 17, hopefully in future betas. Maybe the ability to share your lock screen with others will be a great idea. We heard about this rumor hopefully this will be happening and in order to delete and organize your lock screen i would love to see this grid view where you can manage your actual lock screen setups directly with a grid view instead of having to go through this carousel that you can't really see a whole lot and it takes a bunch of time i would love to see more of a grid view happening here as well now another area i would love to see some changes is control center remember how many rumors we've heard that apple will be changing the control center in ios 17 that has not happened i would like to see a more modern look to the control center more customization as you can see right here now this is more wishful hoping thinking right because apple has mentioned nothing of this and we haven't seen
seen anything whatsoever for control center but i would love to see a control center that goes more aligned with the mac os control center which looks more uh, modern in my opinion hopefully we'll see some changes within the next couple of betas for control center and i also want to talk about the wallet application you may remember a lot of rumors pointing that the wallet application will get some much needed updates we haven't seen that yet so hopefully within the next beta or next couple of betas we'll see updates to the wallet and the health application on the iphone which was also rumored to be getting an update with ios 17 and we haven't seen that yet now with ios 17 developer beta 2 i would love for apple to continue building upon interactive widgets we finally have interactive widgets in ios 17 and i would love to see more of this now apple has added new music widgets to the iphone they've added new contacts widgets to the iphone with interaction new calendar widgets just a lot happening here in terms of widgets as you can see right here we have different kinds of widgets for the actual calendar you guys have been asking about that one specifically we also have the contact widget which is now interactable and you can customize it with shortcuts we also have the music widget which allows you to play and pause music as you can see right here and you also have additional widgets the large size here for the top 100s we also have the recommended pick list right here but i would love to see a scrubber for the volume in the track right so that you can change that on the fly as well and maybe even on the lock screen add some live activity for the actual widgets that you can go ahead and see apple music lyrics on the lock screen that would also be cool in ios 17 we'll have to wait and see but i'm hoping to see apple build upon interactive widgets and activities live activities on the lock screen as well like live lyrics directly from apple music on the lock screen i think that's a great idea now this last one that i would love to see is wishful thinking and that is the ability to lock apps using face id or touch id now apple has mentioned nothing of this we really haven't heard anything but this is on my wish list because it would be great to have this feature built into the iphone nonetheless so let's go ahead and jump into the calendar here and let's talk about when we can expect ios 17 and developer beta 2 now as i mentioned it's been exactly two weeks now last year apple took two weeks and three days so about eight 16 days 17 days or so between beta 1 in beta 2 so that means that we most likely see ios 17 developer beta 2 on the week of the 19th of june so my money is on june 21st but it could happen any moment apple has been so unpredictable in the last couple of days in the last couple of years a matter of fact but the next beta is right around the corner hopefully we'll see more improvements more features let me know what you think about this video in those comments down below thank you for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace